Hey, this video is a quick guide on how to get started making pixel art if you've never done pixel art. And I'm also going to show you how you can pretty quickly learn to make things that look, you know, like this. I think looks pretty cool. So let's jump in. The first thing that you're going to need is a program to actually draw pixel art in. If you're just getting started and you're not sure if you like this yet, I'd recommend a tool online called pixel art, P I X I L A R T. This is just a website you can go to. It's this.com and it's a free pixel art editor and you can get started and you can make some really cool stuff with this. They have, I mean, this is a very good program. If you guys want to see more about this program specifically, let me know and we can do some tutorials on it, but there is a free way to make pixel art if you want to do that. But if you're going to make pixel art for your games or you're doing anything more than just kind of playing around, I would really recommend getting a Sprite, a Sprite like this, A S E P R I T E is a fully fledged big boy pixel art editor. You can think of it like Photoshop, but for pixel art. And it's, I would say probably the standard as far as pixel art goes. Some game engines will even just directly import a Sprite files. You can make animations and there's different layers and all kinds of cool stuff you can do with a Sprite. Again, if you want a little bit more in-depth tutorial on a Sprite, let me know. But yeah, A-Sprite is what I use to make this art here. And whatever program you're using, I recommend just starting out with a 16 by 16 canvas. So up in A-Sprite, I can say new, and you can set your canvas size to 16 by 16 and hit okay. So a lot of people ask me, what size should I make my pixel art? And of course the short answer is it depends on what you're drawing. But I think if you just have no idea what you're doing and you're brand new to pixel art, just start with 16 by 16 and you'll pretty quickly figure out where you need to go. But I like 16 by 16 because you can put enough detail into a drawing, like these are all 16 by 16, but they're not overwhelming. There's not so many pixels that you just lose your mind. Whereas if you're drawing something, you know, bigger like this, I mean, you kind of have to understand how pixel art works before you can really draw something that looks nice. So again, if you're just getting started out, I would recommend that you draw a box. Over here in a Sprite, I have a bunch of tools and click on this third tool up. This is our rectangle tool. And I'm just going to go almost to the edges and just draw a square like that. And we're going to draw this from a top down perspective. Again, sort of like these sprites where you see the front face of something and you see the top face. So here we have this camping cooler. We see the front face of it and the top face. This picnic table, we see the side and we see the top. The tent, we see the side and the top, side and the top. It's like we're on a great big ladder looking down, right? You can think of it kind of like sort of like the old like Pokemon Game Boy Stardew Valley kind of perspective. So we're just going to draw a box. And so to make a box in this perspective, we need the front face and the top face. And we can make that split kind of wherever we want. And so maybe I'll just make it right here. And now we have the front face and the top face. And what's going to make this actually look like a 3D box is shading. Let's start by just filling this in with the main color that we like. I like this kind of blue and I can go over and in any pixel art program, you should have some tool that's like a fill tool. That's right here in a Sprite, the paint bucket tool. And just like Microsoft paint, you can just kind of fill it in. But what's going to make this look 3d is the difference in the shading between the different sides, because let's say light is coming from the top. We're going to light this top and it's going to be brighter than the side. And so we could just pick a lighter blue do that. And now we're on our way. Look at this. That already looks like a 3D box, which is cool, but we can make it even better. One thing I like to do is round the corners. So I can go over to my eraser tool or I can hit E in a Sprite and I'm just going to round these corners and that just makes it feel a little bit nicer. And the other thing we can do is take out this line. When you're drawing outlines for pixel art, it's sometimes nice to have that dark outline around the edges, but kind of have a little highlight on the edge between the front and the top face. So for instance, here's a picture of like a metal cube, and this is a little bit different perspective, but you see how this edge between the front and the top has this little highlight on it. That's kind of what we're looking for. We're going to make a little highlight. So I'm just going to grab this light blue, switch back to my pencil tool and just draw a little highlight there. And look at that. Now we have a 3d looking box. And what's cool about pixel art is it's really easy to adjust and edit this later. And so I can always do something like grab this marquee tool and I can select part of the pixel art and I can move it left or right with the buttons on my keyboard. Let's just move this up like that. There, it looks a little bit better, taller like that. That's a nice box. And then let me show you one other next level technique for the outline around the top face. 
let's just make that a really dark version of this color, which I happen to have a really dark blue here. I'm going to make this kind of dark navy blue just around here. And then we're adding some subtle shading to the outline. It's still a nice dark outline, but it's some subtle shading here, and it just kind of punches that perspective a little more, and it works really well. This is a technique that I learned from a guy named Pixel Pete, super talented pixel art artist. He has a whole bunch of videos and pixel art critiques, and if you're getting into pixel art, I highly recommend checking him out. But what's cool about just drawing this box is now you have kind of the basis for making a lot of different stuff. With just a little bit of adjustment, you can make all kinds of different objects with pixel art. Anything that's sort of boxy is drawn basically the same way. So, you know, maybe we want to draw a chest. Let's just grab a brown and we could put a little lock on the chest like this. A little highlight on the lock. And now we have a really simple little chest that we can use for our game. And hey, if you're excited to get started with pixel art, I just released a free course, the Pixel Art Fast Track. In this course, we dive into the essential tips to make pixel art that looks professional and clean. And we dive into the biggest concepts to help you make your own awesome pixel art. This course is perfect for beginners. And by the end of the course, you'll be able to start drawing things like this. So I hope you had fun in this video. Here's a link to get that pixel art fast track course for free. And I'll see you over there.